Now, if I were to replace a block with something else, let's say, for example, I want to replace the model provider instead of OpenAI to use perhaps models hosted by Grok. What I can do is I can go under models and look for Grok and then drag and drop this node into the canvas. And same thing here, I can provide the API key, provide temperature, select one of the models available by Grok. So there are a few options right now. And then what I can do is instead of the wire that was attached to OpenAI, I can break that and then I can bring that value over to the Grok block in here. And since this is going to be the input, I'm gonna attach it to input. Great, and same thing, I could just leave this as is. If I want, I can copy the chat output and then I can just bring in the value for this particular block to the output. And then we have this flow working. If we wanted, we could have attached the OpenAI block as well and see the response from both of these flows together. And the way we can do that in that case is we can come to the playground. Once, of course, we hit play and run all of these flows, then in the playground, we can ask a question. And then based on that, we'll probably get response from both of the providers, one from OpenAI and one from Grok. And both of those might look very similar since we gave instructions to respond back as a pirate. Now what I've done is I've provided the Grok API key and I'm going to go in for fun purposes. I'll just say hi. And once I hit enter, I'll see, I'll get response from both of the providers. So this is quite nice that I can compare both models. This hopefully gives you a good idea of how to get started with basic prompting. You're on to a great start to build simple or complex LLM based applications.